Are you new to HP tuners or are you an experienced tuner that's been doing this for a long time but still looking for quicker ways of getting their job done? Stick around. I'm going to teach you guys some tips and tricks that not a lot of people know when it comes to using this platform. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about is setting up your favorites, um, which is if you've got a specific vehicle that you're tuning on or your own personal vehicle, and you've got a set of favorite tables that you like to make adjustments on. You can actually set these things up to where you can make the adjustments super quick every, on every vehicle that you tune. So for right now, just because this is the most common vehicle that I feel like HP Tuners just bought for, uh, we're going to pull up a 2013 Chevy Silverado 5.3 stock file, and let's go on and turn off the DOD. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into engine, we're going to go into fuel, lean fuel savings and let's turn off the DOD. So what you can do is you can actually right click this and you can go down to favorites and you can hit click add to favorites. So now your favorites is going to be set up right here. Another thing that's common on these is, is enabling power enrichment. So let's disable the enrichment timer and let's go ahead on and right click it and add it to favorites. So now if you look, you're going to see these actually set up under your favorites. So what we can do is we can actually close this tune file back out and we're not going to save those changes. So let's open back up the stock file. And if we want to make that change quick, now all we've got to do is click favorites up here at the top left. You'll see where they're there. We just hit zero here, disable here. Now, just for the guys that haven't done this before, you're going to notice how it did, it, it's pink, but it hasn't changed. It wants you to save the tune file. So you're going to go under file, save as, and we will call this file stock uh, favorites test. So we're going to save it. We're going to close this file. So now when we open this file up, you're going to notice uh, if you go up to your favorites that everything has been been changed. You can go through the tune file and notice that all your changes have been made. So it just makes it super quick and easy. So if you're a shop that's doing a lot of DOD deletes, the next one you do, just go up to your favorites, go and add your DOD disable or whatever all you like to do in the tune and have that ready. That way, as you're doing these vehicles, you can move along faster. So let's go ahead on and get into the next tip. So for the next tip, I'm going to show you guys, this is a huge one. And this one's going to be for your beginners and your experienced tuners. This is going to be for the guys that, that do this a whole, whole bunch. What we're going to do is I want to use a compare function to actually make large changes all at once. That way you're not having to go in and copy things over. So if you've watched uh, some of my other videos, I'm still right now, I've got the 2013 Silverado stock file pulled up. I did a burnout tune in one of my previous videos. So I'll go ahead and I'll link that up here just in case you want to check it out. But let's say we want to take this stock file. And we want to make it all the same changes that we did to the burnout tune, but we want to make it all in essentially one click so we're gonna what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in my compare file uh, file so I've got this one pulled up where it's uh, five three burnout so if we want to make some just quick changes without having to do any type of copy and paste function we're gonna go to compare view comparison log and say we want to just take part of it so say just we just want to do the power enrichment side of things we can actually go to this tab where it says power and rich. We can right click. And if you'll see, we have copy over selected differences. That's going to copy over everything in the tune that's in that specific folder. So whatever you've got in the comparison file, it's going to copy everything over. So we can just click copy over. And now you'll notice how the power enrichment isn't in the differences table. That's because they're now the same. So let's say we want to make all the changes all at once. We can just go up here to engine. We can right click and you'll see where it says copy over all differences. We can click this and now the tune files are identical. It's going to make any changes in the calibration that was in the comparison file. It's all done. Now be careful with this because when you click all, it's going to make all the changes as far as transmission, fuel system, anything and everything. So sometimes you're going to want to just go under specific tabs and just right click and do a partial. Sometimes you're just going to want to duplicate the entire tune. So anyways, that's that tip. Let's move on to the next tip. All right, guys, so the next tip is going to be a big one. This one's going to be for the beginners and the experts. A lot of guys don't know this. So if you've ever worked around HP tuners, sometimes you think, man, I wish they had a search function. Well, they do. All you got to do is you hit control N at the same time, like control and the letter N. So we hit control N. Here's our parameter navigator. So this is a search function. So say we want to look up anything that's related to flex fuel. Go right here under text filter and we can just type in the word flex. And you'll notice it pulls up all tables that are related to flex. So if you want to make a change, you can actually just click the table right here and it pulls it up right here. So say we want to make a flex fuel sensor change. It shows it all up. Flex fuel spark. There's that. 
Um, so this just makes a qu much quicker way of navigating through, especially if you need to search. So say you're doing something new that you haven't ever messed with, like flex fuel or like torque management. You can just type in these functions and it's gonna show you all the tables that's related to those searches. Now, one thing I do wanna note is this does not search the DTC list when you first pull this up. So if you want to add the flex fuel sensor check engine light, you will have to go under engine di uh, diag to actually do that. I've tried to use a search function for check engine lights on here, but it just doesn't seem to work the way that you would expect it to. But again, if you're working with tables or any, or any type of drop down tabs, this is a beautiful function for search. So let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip I've showed you guys a couple times before, but in case you haven't caught that video, this one's a big one too. So this one's also gonna be for the beginners and the experts. So just so you're aware, HP Tuners always saves data logs. No matter what you do, it's always gonna save it and it's always in the same spot. So let's say we wanna open up a data log. So we've got our scanner pulled up. So all we're gonna have to do is click open log file. And then once that pulls up, we go under documents, we go under HP Tuners, we go under VCM scanner, and we go under logs. And there's every data log you've ever had. Now, if, one thing I will tell you that if you're using HP tuners a whole, whole bunch and you notice your computer getting slower, that is because it's saving all the logs. So you're going to want to go back and delete them. So I usually delete mine every couple months so I can actually scroll down here and you'll see that every data log since May 25th is actually still here. You're going to want to clear those out sometimes, but it's just nice to be able to have. So say you're tuning for a customer and they say hey did you happen to notice this if you know the date that you did the tune on and you didn't save the data log you can still go back through and search through those data logs that day and you can try to see if maybe you missed something anyways let's move on to the next tip all right so the next tip again is for the beginners and the experts this one's a quick one now i'm not plugged into a vehicle at the moment but if you get your scanner open and you want to connect and you want to record at the same time you can actually just hit the space bar and it's gonna go ahead on and open up your connection. So right now I don't have an interface plugged in, but just know that when you're plugged in, you can hit spacebar to log in and it'll start recording. And then if you wanna end a data log, you can also hit spacebar at the same time and that will stop the data log. So it keeps you from having to fumble around, especially like if you're at a you know, drag strip and you, you wanna hit, you know, after your burnout or whatever, you wanna hit spacebar to start the log. And then once your, your pass is over, you can hit spacebar to stop the log. So let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next one's gonna be more beginner based. Some of the experts have probably already figured this out. But if you want to, if you need help converting over a unit, say you need to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, or you need to um, convert injector fuel flow, you just come up here to the top on your editor and click this CF button, and that's going to pull up our unit conversion. So say we want to convert over, you know, especially a big one for wanting to, to calculate your, over to your liters. Say you've got a 408 cubic inch engine. Well, there's your liter calculation. So you can take this, you can divide it by eight to put it in your cylinder volume. But this right here is really good, especially whenever you're talking like injector flow, if you're changing uh, fuel pressure, it will kind of give you an idea. So say your injectors are rated at three bar of pressure and you need to convert them over to four, you can come over here and type that in. So let's go ahead on and move on to the next tip. All right, so this is gonna be my final tip. This one's gonna be a big one. Uh, this is gonna help you guys that tune a lot of trucks. Maybe you did a read file on it and you forgot to, dis uh, to turn off the reading out of the fuel pump control module or say you're tuning on a ctsv or something and you don't want to uh, have that fuel pump control module out on like in your tune file because hp tuners is asking you for extra credits and you don't want to do it so let's go ahead on and show you how to get this removed so you're going to come up here with this little paper icon and right now i've got an 08 vortex max uh, pulled up but you'll see that i have the fuel pump control module actually on here so if you want to remove it you literally can just click double click to remove and all it's going to do is it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to remove it? You just click yes. And you just save it as a uh, read um, no fuel pump control module, which I've already actually done on this one. Um, so anyways, once you read that out or once you save it, you're going to close your file. You're going to reopen your file. Go to the one that says no fuel pump control module. And now the fuel pump control module is no longer there. So it's no longer going to ask you for that extra one credit or extra three credits or whatever. So this is a good way that like, if you want to go ahead on and read out everything on every single vehicle and then just remove the controllers that you don't want to license after the fact, that way you have a reference, you're more than welcome to. But anyways, guys, that's going to be my tips video for HP tuners. I hope you guys uh, thought my video was informative. If it is, and you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I want to appreciate you guys for all your likes in the comments. I'm getting a ton of good comments, a lot of positive feedback, but that's going to be the video for today. Leave me a comment if you have any other ideas on videos I can make, uh, but otherwise I'll see you guys later on.